Welcome back to 3D Printing News. Our first story, Creality has made updates to their website, which imply that new printers are coming, including a new flagship series. A recent e-blast from Creality hints at fast things to come. A new series of printers with the tag, be fast. We don't have all the info yet, but considering Creality's anniversary celebrations that happen every April, we're likely weeks away from finding out. Shut up and take my money. Our next story, AnchorMake has announced a feedback-based updates to its slicer. Among them is the full software transition to the open source Prusa slicer. They announced the transition will be completed by April, and when it's done, there will be a public beta testing phase. The slicer will be compiled on GitHub so anyone can access the code, report issues, and contribute to development. Let's take a moment to appreciate the companies that listen to customer feedback. Our last story, 3D printed chocolate is back. A new desktop 3D printer has entered the scene, the Coco Press. It started back in 2014 by Ellie Rose Weinstein. The product is an FDM-like machine that uses palm oil-based chocolate to print chocolate objects. The 3D printing chocolate scene has stalled, and one of the main reasons is accessibility. And with the Coco Press, they may have solved that issue. Chocolate printers typically cost around $2,000, and they are selling the DIY version for $1,500. This version is a 10 hour build and requires you to print components. Oh no, I have to print something. It's not as if that's what we love doing, what I love doing. If it means more money to spend on filament, I'll print everything. That's all we have for today. Back to you, Bob.